Hi, I'm Kurt from Sunnyside, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install twin wall polycarbonate roofing. Now, twin wall is a multi walled honeycomb product. It comes in flat sheets, and they can be up to 1200 wide or 600 wide. And with these sheets, you don't actually need to use purlins, so the purlins are the ones going across like you do with corrugated roofing, you only need the rafters and generally the rafters need to be about 600 apart or 800 apart depending on the thickness of the twin wall. The benefits of the twin wall over and above the corrugated single walled roofing is that it's slightly insulated which means there's less chance of it getting condensation on the underside of it and also it's completely flat so it can look better. So to install twin wall you'll need a few different things. Obviously the twin wall itself, then you'll need some sort of joining system. We are going to be using this uh, polycarbonate snap joiner which is a two-piece joiner. Uh, you can use F-channel on the edges, some twin wall fasteners, some sealer and dust tape to uh, seal the ends of the twin wall and then some screws to fasten the joiner into the rafters. You'll also need a U-end cap to go on the ends of the twin wall to go over the sealer and dust tape. Now I've actually made up a roof frame to sit on the ground here so I can show you how to install some things on the ground but normally you'll be uh, building the roof structure and then putting the twin wall on top of that once the roof structure is in place. So the first thing to do is to set out your rafters. And these are the ones going that way. Now with our six millimeter twin wall, you can have the rafters up to 600 apart, which means you can either get 600 mil wide sheets to be joined on each rafter, or you can get 1200 mil wide sheets to be joined every second rafter, which means the middle rafter in the middle of the sheet, you'll just be putting screws through the sheet rather than a joiner. Now I'm going to be putting a joiner on each of these rafters as the sheets that I've got are 610 mil wide. So I've set up my rafters at 640 millimeters apart because you want to allow 30 millimeters in between for this joiner. To fasten the joiner on, you want to use screws every 400 millimeters along the joiner down the rafter. You can use a number of different types of outdoor screws. I'm actually going to be using these 30 mil button head screws, which will sit on the joiner nicely. So now that I've got all the joiners installed on the rafters, I'm going to be cutting and installing the sheets. So in terms of cutting twin wall, it's actually really easy to work with. There's two ways you can cut it. The first is with a sharp knife and a straight edge, which is the easiest and cleanest. You can also use a sharp handsaw, but this can leave some swarf or little offcut bits that can get into the flutes. So it's usually cleaner with a sharp knife. So I'm actually going to be cutting these sheets down to just over 1500, which is the length that I need. I'm cutting four sheets at the same time. So that's gone through the first sheet there and I can just keep cutting through the subsequent sheets. Now that I've got all my panels cut, I can start to seal the ends of them. So we've got a sealer tape, which is an aluminium tape that goes at the top end, and that stops any water getting into the top of the flutes. And then we've got this blue dust tape 
which is a breathable tape, and that goes at the bottom end. And that stops any dust getting in from the bottom end, but it does allow any moisture or water that does get into the flutes to run out the bottom end. This is the aluminium sealer tape. It's quite easy to rip, so you do have to be careful when you are uh, putting it on the end of the twin wall. Actually, it just goes over, over the top end. This is the dust tape. So you can't really rip it, it's quite strong. You'll need to cut it to size and then peel off the back and put it over the lower end to allow any moisture out of the sheets. So that's two panels taped up. Now I'm just going to show you how you can put the joiner on. So it's the top cap of the joiner that's going to hold these two panels on and together. So that's the bottom bit, which is slightly fa flatter than the top bit. And then they snap together. And there's some lugs there for 8mm or 6mm sheets. So once I've located both sheets where they need to be, I can then put the snap joiner on. And this just snaps into place. So the easiest way is to start at one end and then work your way down. So that's the joiner all snapped into place. You can also use a rubber mallet just to make sure that it's snapped down all the way. So once the sheets are in place you can then go and put the U end caps on. Usually top and bottom. I'm not going to put one on the top because I've got mine going under a flashing. So I'm just putting the U end cap on the bottom. Now the way round it goes on the bottom is the long end goes underneath the sheet and the short end goes up the top. That way any water running out of the flutes will get caught in here and then it can run out the side of this U end cap. Now it can be quite tight getting the U end cap on, so often it's easy to start at one end, get it in and then slide it all the way down. Now you want to leave a gap, about a 5mm gap at the bottom just to allow any water to run out those ends. Now you'll notice I don't have a joiner on the end here. This is because I'm going to leave a slight overhang on this edge. Now if there was no overhang and this was flush with the end rafter, you can use an F channel and the twin wall goes into this part of the F channel and then the side drops down the side of the rafter and you can screw through the side of this. Because I've got an overhang, I'm going to be using the twin wall fasteners to fasten this edge down. And you put the twin wall fasteners every 400 mil along the rafter. Before you put that in, you want to use a 10 mil drill to drill an expansion hole first, just to give the sheet a chance to expand and contract.